I always tell you guys when I'm speculating, and that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. But for those of you paying close attention to the world, a lot of biblical prophecies are starting to come true before our very eyes. The ones that were supposed to come true right before the end times. The Euphrates is starting to dry up. We have a one world currency about to be put in place. We have a one world government about to be put in place. We have a one world religion. I mean, it's it's all here. We're, we are here. And for those of you that don't know, Revelations is not written in chronological order. I mean, you can go through it and see for yourself. Revelations of Jesus Christ Ministry did a really good study on this about two years ago. But either way, there's plenty of proof that the book of Revelation is not written in chronological order. So let me tell you where I think we're at right now. Did y'all see this thing going viral floating over China? There's articles and photos about this thing all over the place. Check this out, spectacular. To my knowledge, we've never witnessed anything like this before. The Weather Channel called it a rare phenomenon. A phenomenon that apparently no one's ever gotten a photo of. Not to my knowledge anyways. But let's check this out together. Revelation 10, then I saw a mighty angel coming down from heaven, wrapped in a cloud with a rainbow over his head, and his face was like the sun, and his legs like pillars of fire. I don't know, that's pretty close. If this is the sign of the coming of the angel in Revelation 10, it's a setup for this. When you keep reading into Revelation 11, this is the whole setup before the two witnesses come. So if this is in fact the Revelation 10 sign, the two witnesses are about to be here. The next three and a half years is going to be something to keep an eye on. And for those of you that have been following me for a while, you already know that I believe the first seal has already been opened. Revelation 6, the first seal, and I looked and behold a white horse and its rider had a bow and a crown was given to him and he came out conquering and to conquer. White horse like a white doctor's jacket maybe? And a crown is corona. And if you look up this word for bow in Strong's Concordance, you'll see that it's a stake. Kind of like a needle. And they clearly came out to conquer with all that shenanigans. It's also very possible the second seal has been opened. And when the second seal opened, out came another horse, bright red. Its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth so that people should slay one another. I mean, have you guys watched the news lately? We might even be working on the third seal right now. And I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of four living creatures saying a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius. This is basically hyperinflation and food shortages. And I mean, come on, it's not like we're seeing this these days.